One of the problems that people have with identifying contradictories is that they sometimes confuse them with contraries. In this video, we'll clear up the distinction. Here's our claim. The ball is black. Now consider the claim the ball is white. Is this the contradictory of A? It's tempting to say this. There's a natural sense in which the ball is white is opposite in meaning to the ball is black, since black and white are regarded as opposites in some sense. And it's also true that they both can't be true at the same time. If the ball is black, then it's not white, and vice versa. But this is not the contradictory of A. Why not? Well, what if the ball we're dealing with looks like this? The ball isn't black and it isn't white. It's gray. This possibility is relevant because it's a counterexample to the basic definition of a contradictory. If the ball is white is the contradictory of the ball is black, then these are supposed to have opposite truth values in all possible worlds. Whenever one is true, the other is false and vice versa. But if the ball is gray, then A, the ball is black, is false, since gray is not black. But if A is false, then the contradictory of A must be true. But the ball is white is not true, it's false as well. Both of these claims are false. And that's not supposed to be possible if these are genuine contradictories of one another. We do have a word to describe pairs of claims like these, though. They're called contraries. Two claims are contraries of one another if they can't both be true at the same time, they can both be false. So the ball can't be both black and white, but if it's gray or red or blue, then it's neither black nor white. These are contraries, not contradictories. Now, how do we formulate the contradictory of the ball is black so that it always has the opposite truth value? Like so. You say the ball is not black. Now, the ball being gray doesn't violate the definition of a contradictory. In this world, A is false, but not A is true. It's true that the ball is not black. Examples like this illustrate why it's sometimes helpful to have the formal language in the back of your head. A more formal way of stating the contradictory is, it is not the case that A. It is not the case that the ball is black, which is equivalent to the ball is not black. The language is pretty stiff, but if you stick it is not the case that in front of the claim, you're guaranteed not to make the mistake we've seen here of mistaking contrary properties for contradictory properties. In some cases, when dealing with more complex compound claims, it's the only way to formulate the contradictory.